hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, welcome to another episode of small meals with small stuff um i know you guys are really waiting on the story time but i'm busy with exams and i'm busy with a lot but i was literally doing an exam just now but i have to eat so i decided to make a meal and i thought why not share it with you guys and give you guys some content um what else did i want to say oh somebody asked me if i could show more of my face while cooking and if i could do a talk through instead of a voiceover so i'm gonna try that out i don't know if it's gonna work out because there's gonna be a lot of noises the food the tv i don't know i don't know i don't live alone so people watch tv but yeah um please like comment and subscribe and please enjoy small meals with small stuff first things first we're gonna boil our potatoes because we are doing stuffed potatoes um, I don't know how many potatoes I'm gonna stuff yet I think that will depend on how big my pan is let's see how many potatoes my pan can take because I don't know if I want to make four or five potatoes So for potatoes it is. So I'm just gonna uh, so I'm just gonna boil these until they soft. I don't know how many I don't know how many minutes it takes really, but I will time it and then I will tell you guys. I mean you know when your potatoes are soft, you just put a fork through it and you can tell if they're soft. So we're gonna boil these in water for a few minutes and then we will come back and do the filling, the stuffing, because it's stuffed potatoes. potatoes are ready they're vibing out on the side waiting for me to do their um, stuffing um, right now I'm gonna chop an onion and garlic and then we're gonna fry those um, this is a very simple meal it doesn't have a lot of ingredients this is like a lazy meal but cute looking like if you want to impress someone but you why is there a mosquito in my video if you want to impress someone but you don't really have time to cook this would be perfect also i want to tell you guys i'm not having a savannah today i'm having a hunters because i lost a bet and instead of buying a 24 savannah i had to buy 24 hunters so this is my life
I thought by the time I was done with my garlic that my onions would at least be halfway cooking but I guess I measured my timing wrong so I'm gonna wait for these to cook a little bit before I put in the garlic and then yeah I'll update you guys on the process <laughs> I'm gonna chop my peppers um, it would be amazing to have it with mushrooms but I realize that I don't have any mushrooms available right now so I'm gonna use a uh, red green and yellow pepper and herb by Inapa I can't pronounce <laughs> Inapa Men's Kitchen so we're still gonna add other ingredients but I just want to season my peppers so that they cook seasoned so if I season them with with more the more if I season them with the other ingredients that I'm gonna add on after they've cooked they're not gonna really be seasoned well i'm not i'm not making sense i want them to see they cook with the season you know everything that is going that i'm gonna add i'm gonna season one by one so that it cooks with its own season and then at the end all the flavors come together So now we're gonna add our baby spinach. spinach while it cooks with some aromat some black pepper some chicken spice
Okay, so while our spinach cooks, we're gonna take some creamy garlic sauce and cheese and peppercorn sauce. And then we're gonna make a paste. Mustn't be runny. Mustn't be clumpy like paste. So we're gonna put boiling water a little bit. So a lot of sauce but little water to make sure it's creamy. So this is the consistency we want. put in my sauce I'm gonna switch off my stove and just let it vibe out in the pan so now we're gonna go back to our potatoes so we're gonna take some butter again but like a little bit very very little bit and I'm just gonna lubricate make sure your potatoes have space because we're gonna open them up Take our mixture. And now we stuff. So this is grated cheese mine is already grated you can buy like a block of cheese and grate it yourself i prefer the already grated because i'm really lazy to grate cheese it's a lot of work
and I switched on the top thingy majiggy, you know, mus here. So we're gonna wait maybe 15 20 minutes. Oh, it looks good. So I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley just for the vibes to make everything look cute. Oh my god, I'm so excited. As this is the final meal, it took us a good three hours because I decided to do everything separately. I boiled the thingies first and then did the stuffing and then I was also doing chicken as well. So it took quite a long time. But I put this in the oven for about 30 minutes and I can't even pick it up, it's hot. <laughs> And this is our final product. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my... What did I press? See you guys on my next video.